Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, instead of fishing myself, I'm going to highlight four locations on the Outer Banks of North Carolina where you can fish or crab for free year-round. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Here we go. To simplify directions, our starting point for navigating to all four of these locations is Whalebone Junction and Nags Head. If you don't know where Whalebone Junction is, find out. In our first fishing spot, we'll leave Whalebone Junction and head south a little ways on NC Highway 12 towards Oregon Inlet, P Island, Cape Hatteras. When you cross the massive Bass Night Bridge over Oregon Inlet, just to the left on the south end of the bridge, you'll find our first location, the Bonner Bridge Pier also known to locals as the catwalk. Before entering the pier, take a moment to read information posted regarding rules, etiquette, websites, and phone numbers. I didn't see any benches on this pier, so bring a chair. There are several trash cans along the thousand foot of fishing surface. Bathroom facilities are porta johns, although there is still construction going on near the parking lot, so this may improve in the future. Some fish you can expect to catch from this pier are sheep's head, black drum, red drum, speckled trout, croaker, sea mullet, bluefish, Spanish mackerel, flounder, small sharks, stingrays, skates, and pinfish. You're basically fishing in the ocean, so the possibilities are endless. Stop into a local tackle shop and they'll set you up with the bait and tackle and good advice for whatever you're after. Remember, fresh bait works best. This location also provides opportunity to launch a kayak, but beware the currents around Oregon Inlet can be very strong at times. Some anglers also choose to wade fish by climbing over the rock jetty adjacent to the pier. Last thing I'll note about this location, I did not see any shaded areas whatsoever, so be aware that in the summer, this is a hot spot. Now we are back at Whalebone Junction and taking a very short drive to the west on US 64, we arrive at our second location, the Melvin R. Daniels Bridge, widely known and even now advertised as the Little Bridge. This location is smaller than the catwalk, but there is still ample room to fish from the bridge, shoreline, or adjacent dock. Crabbing is popular here in the summertime and it also is a great spot to launch a kayak. They do have bathroom facilities as well as a shelter and picnic areas. This spot is known for trout, flounder, red drum, black drum, and sheep's head. Jigging artificial lures is a popular technique here as well as fresh cut bait on the bottom. So, from Whalebone Junction to the Little Bridge, and now across the Washington Baum Bridge to the west side where we find the Washington Baum Bridge Boating Access, commonly referred to as just the Manio Bridge or Pirate's Cove Bridge. Of the four locations I highlight in this video, I'd have to say this spot has something for everyone. Good fishing for multiple species, good crabbing, and a low dock access for ease of crabbing. Abundant shade, benches, and a labyrinth of docks that any kid could play on all day. There's also a nice spot to dip your feet and cool off on a hot summer day. They do have bathroom facilities as well as porta johns So whether you're launching a boat, sightseeing, crabbing, or fishing, you really can't go wrong at this location. For our final location, we will leave the Pirates Cove Bridge and continue west on Highway 64 and through the town of Manio and Roanoke Island. Eventually coming to the Old Man's Harbor Bridge 
It's at the western end of this bridge you will find the Bebop Fishing Pier. This pier was named after Betty Dean Fearing, and there's a nice plaque on the property with a story of how this came to be. The parking area is small, but this location is pretty remote, so I doubt it gets too crowded. But if it does, there's a state-maintained boat ramp a few hundred feet down the road, which also has a porter john. The pier itself has a nice clean beach. It's a bit high for crabbing, but with a long net, it can be done. Your best bet for fishing is cut bait on the bottom. Shrimp, bloodworms, and fresh mullet. There are several nice benches, as well as a large gazebo for shade. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you catch some fish or crabs, but more importantly, experience a fun time with your friends and family at one of these great locations on the Outer Banks.